Monograms 1930 Packard Featon Roadster coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Tonight we have a special What's in the Box for you. We are going to be looking at Monograms 1930 Packard Featon Sportster. This was one of those great luxurious cars of 1930 that sold a lot back in the day. And now let's go down to our bench and see how Monogram made this model. The 1930s are back again as we open up this box of our 1930 Packard Featon Speedster. Now Packard was a great company back in the day. It was very much noted as America's Rolls-Royce, meaning the quality was super luxuriant. And now we'll look at this monogram kit from the past, starting with our instructions, which give you a detailed history of the car. These instructions are smaller than what we've seen in some of the other kits, but they cover the basics of building the motor, and our frame, again, separate rails in the more luxurious cars. And our two-piece wheels and tires with the white wall insert. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward on how to build this car. And Monogram is really good because they give you the, the paint codes that you find on this chart over here, matching up the letters to the letters in the instructions. And this kit is interesting because you can add the optional stone guard onto the front of your radiator. They used this back in the day because there's a lot of rocks, as today, getting kicked up by cars and trucks. And to save the radiator from getting punched through with a flying rock, they put this mesh on the front. Very, very stylish. And you get your choice of the top up or down. Or just don't glue it down here so you can switch. Now, I built one of these back when I was young, but I don't have it here to show. Which might be a good thing. And I, there is... Oops. The engine. Hang on, let's just swing this out of the way. So here we have our fender interior and body. I was doing a little bit of work on this one it seems because this is out of my private collection. And then we have our little fender wells for the spare tires. And there's our white wall inserts and the hood. And you put the side louvers in, which were functional on the car to help cool down the engine in the summer. And there's our our parts tree with the with the rails, frame rails, and the differential. These luxurious cars had huge differentials on them. And there's our the top of the engine for the Packard. Here's another parts tree. I do believe the fenders were in here. And you can see these are little brackets that go on the frame to actually hold the fenders to the frame, which is accurate to the real car. And then there's our interior pieces, the little luggage rack on the back. Now, as I said, I built this kit when I was young and it goes together really, really well. There's also the chrome tree here. Some parts hanging in the bag I don't want to lose. I'll just take this out of the vintage wrapping paper. And there you can see the beauty of the old chrome. Now, I've got two wheels out of here because I was test fitting them together. So there they are. And these ones with the blanked out holes, those are for your spare tires. 
and of course we've got those huge deep Packard headlights. They were a larger bulb headlight arrangement than the standard Model T's back in the day. And here are the clear parts. You can see just how big those headlights are. And I've, the windshield glass is separate because I was starting to build this. But it's got those nice little side window vents. And that is a look at our Packard Phaeton Speedster. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to open up the lid on the 1930 Packard Phaeton Speedster. And I hope you will watch some of our other videos where we get to see other cars from this golden era. And if you would like to see those, please check out this video, this video, and that video. And don't forget to subscribe to us right here so we can continue with the examination of what's in the box. And until next time, keep driving on the right side of the road, even if in your country it's the left side of the road. Talk to you later.